All right, art students, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm going to do a full finished picture this time, still sticking with the females. And uh, I'm going to, this is for all you airsofters, all you gamers that like to play war games, uh, Black Ops and all those other war games. I'm going to do some soldier females, maybe even a couple guys. So I'm going to try to hurry this because it is the 4th of July and it is getting dark and I know people are going to start shooting and messing up my video so I'm going to do this and it's going to be a speed drawing when I get to the part about doing clothes because yeah so basically first of all I'm going to do the body shape and I'm not going to put really detail into the body because they're going to be covered up with clothes this is why I tell people that if you're covering up something then you don't need Whatever I was going to say. <laughs> you don't need detail in the body. You don't need to do all those muscles and so forth. Okay, remember, Brian, this is a female. And she's not going to be too thick. I'm just trying to get room for the legs to go. So, of course, I did the K. This is a reverse K. Or you can say half of a, half of a, half of a, half of a. Hourglass, it's just half of it, just like that, or move it over for the other half, or if you perfectly center it. So the the big thing is you have to um, make sure it's not too tall. I kind of wanted her big so she can fit on the paper so that I can put some clothes on it, but it's gonna be turned. And what am I what am I rubbing on? All right, so as I said, I want to try to speed this up because I don't know when they're gonna start shooting. And I might move this up, and I think I will move this up because I want my legs not to be on the off the paper. So basically, I try to get this and this the same length. Just a bit of a curve there. So this leg is going to come down. This is going to be the balanced leg, and this is going to be the leg that kind of women always have that little turn with their legs. Not always, Brian. So my center line, you got to get the center line. You got to get the center line in there so you know what, what's what and where's what and how's what. So this is going to be here. And then this is going to be there. And those legs may be a little long. I thought I'd raise it up to this point. And why am I still using that one? So if I raise it up. You completely raise it up. Okay, this is going to be the shoulders. And I'm going to raise this up a little bit more. So that I can stop my legs here and here. So that, that's about right. And then I will come back and... Straighten it out later. So she is going to have a gun now. I'm going to have to bring this down because this is still too tall for that. So this is this one's probably going to be the right one. Since she's turned that way, let's put the head here. As I said, you can't get it too long. Wide is a is a different thing. You can have a female with wide hips. So I'm going to chop this off right here because you don't want shoulders too big and I'm going to put the head here this is going to be looking back head needs to be a little bigger you always want a bigger head for female to make the body look smaller <coughs> Then your shoulder, her shoulder is going to go right here. <coughs> Chest is going to be about right here. So the other shoulder is going to be there. And I'm going to put the gun about right here. Now the hard part would be doing the gun. Doing the gun itself. So, okay, there's one firecracker. All it takes is one. And then the rest come a running. 
It's not even dark out there. A lot of people don't want to wait till it gets dark. So, okay, th th that's the hard part is the actual placement of the gun. So let's just say I put the arm here. I'm gonna put it here. Or should I say I'll bend it here? And then the wrist is gonna be here. So let's bring that out a little bit more. So that hand has gotta come down because it's gonna have to hold it. Hold the um it's not the handle. Come on, Brian, you got guns. Yeah, but my brain just it just stopped right now. I found a bunch of phones, my old, old, old phones. One of them was uh, 13, 2013. And it was, they had some pictures in them, and I was trying to get the pictures. Of course, they were cheap, really low resolution back then. And I was trying to get the pictures out, old pictures of me and the X. And I'm trying to get the pictures out so that, yeah, I have old pictures of myself back from back in the day. But uh, for some reason, it just wouldn't, a lot of little things wouldn't, the swipe mechanism wouldn't work on one. And then it wasn't, you know, it's outdated and, you know, the Windows 10, it wouldn't really understand Windows 10. So, yeah, that kind of like took up a couple of hours. It just kind of frustrated me. And this is too far from that. Because I wasted my time, so I pulled out like three more phones. I keep all my stuff. I don't. I'm not a person that tears stuff up. You know, I have toys from when I was maybe seven, and uh, I keep those things. I showed it in a video, one old video, and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't tear my stuff up. And I taught my son not to tear stuff up. And actually, when he started. Um, getting tired of his toys, I would get them and put them up. And we keep the boxes and the whole nine yards. So whenever I die, he can sell those or they'll be worth money because a lot of good stuff. Visionaries, cops. Uh, if you were back in the day, <clears throat> you would know those cartoons. Bunch of other stuff. Of course, Power Rangers. Power Rangers was the big thing. He was Power Ranger nut. And I think I pulled him out one Christmas for him to play with plus a lot of the old stuff I had when I was young so as I said this is the hard part because you have to use a ruler one and you have to kind of know what kind of gun you're drawing which means you have to have um, reference references of guns but the, the the housing piece usually they're all the same if it's like a m the m16 the m whatever m whatever the m model series the whatever and that might be a little long but you know what <clears throat> i am going to keep that that way so this hand comes down you won't see this hand it goes back and comes out here And there is a there is a particular way people when you hold these guns. People that really hold guns know that like, oh, that's wrong. He's 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 close, but it's not it's not right. And yeah, you have to get that right. Not saying this is one hundred percent right, but it it it'll be eighty percent, ninety percent when I finish the whole thing. So we come down to the foot, which is going off the paper. So this one is here. This is more of a front. See how much room I have at the top, which was not what I wanted. I should have put the head first, then started with the, the K letter. So I can actually slim this hip down a little bit more. So basically, this is all I'm going to do as far as uh, body-wise. Just I'm just trying to get that body shape there. Unless she had something like really, really skimpy tight on, you would not have to worry about any kind of other detail. This is going to be here. This is going to curve in. This is going to curve out, down. This foot is going to be like, see some heel. 
I remember it's like the wedge. Just if you do the wedge like that, and then you can add that part going back or to the side or however it is. But this is gonna come straight down here. That's where I was screwing up at. Gotta cut come straight down because your 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 weight is right here. It's kind of like they call it a plumb line. You drop it straight down, and it should be right hitting on the side of your heel. And you know you have that balance. So this knee is going to be about right here. A small calf. I'm going to curve this whole thing in. And let this foot almost going off the paper as well. I don't like that. All right, so actually going to give her a face, the whole nine yards. And I think from this point, I think we'll go for a speed drawing because I just know. It's almost firework time. So let me just get a few more lines in here. And the rest is going to be speed drawing if I don't finish it tomorrow. So yeah, that is the basic shape of what I'm going for. And then you figure out what kind of hair you want since she is, she is, it is a female. This is the second shot. And a lot of people were shooting fireworks last night. I guess they couldn't wait. And the third, they're just like, nope, I'm not gonna wait for it. But then, you know, some people have to work in the morning. So they can't stay up and just drink and shoot fireworks at, at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go speed drawing from this point on.
All right, so I think I'm gonna call it quits on this one. This, this is far enough. I can always do some detail later, but I know this turned out to be a lot longer than I wanted it to be. So once I do detail, I'll probably just throw it in the book whenever I finish my um, next action pose position book. So I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna continue with the women, but I'm, I got some other things that I'm working on in between. So the next one probably won't be a female. It will be something else. Yeah, so I'm working on that as a, you know, in, in between like working on three videos at once. That's why it's taking me so much time to get these things out and then also doing some promoting. So that's gonna be it for this video. So if you like to give me a thumbs up and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned, hopefully it won't be too long after this one. All right, later.